two, one, two. So two, one, two, done for us. Okay, so keep that in mind. And then we have zero, three, one. So zero, three, one. And then we have two, four, zero, two, four, zero. And two. So there you go. Part B. What is the most common number of siblings? So you can see the most common number of siblings is two. Two. So there you go. The most common number of siblings is two. Part C. How many students have two or more siblings? So two or more, that means from two onward, okay, including two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten students. So ten. So there you go. What is the range of the data? So range is the highest score minus the lowest score. So the highest score in this case here is four siblings. And the lowest is zero siblings. So we just go four with minus zero. So the answer is four. Okay, so there you go. So four siblings. Part E. What is the mode of the data? Mode is the most common or most frequent score, if you like. So in this case here, the most frequent score is two. So that means two siblings. There you go. Part F. What is the median number of siblings? So medians is the middle score. And the data must be in order. Okay, keep that in mind. So for the dot plots here, of course, is already in order. So we just cross out the minimum and the maximum score. And then whatever left in the middle, that is the median. So we have one, two, one, two. And we have one, two, we cross out one, two. We cross out one, and then we cross out this one. We cross out this one, we cross out this. One, one. So this means here, this is the median. So the median is two. So that is two siblings. Part G, calculate the mean of number of siblings. So mean means we add all the scores together, we divide by number of scores. So we have 28, we divide by 15. That will give me, so 1.9. There you go.